Good morning and a very warm welcome to our live service of the Feast of the Presentation of Christ in the Temple, Candle Mass. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord of glory be with you and the Lord bless you. Dear friends, 40 days ago we celebrated the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now we recall the day on which he was presented in the temple when he was offered to the Father and shown to his people. As a sign of his coming among us, his mother was purified, as we now come to him for cleansing. In their old age, Simeon and Anna recognised him as their Lord, as we today speak of his glory. In this Holy Eucharist, we celebrate both the joy of his coming and his searching judgment, looking back to the day of his birth and forward to the coming days of his passion. And so, because none of us are perfect and we all mess up from time to time, hear the words of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Therefore, let us bring our sins into his light and confess them in penitence and faith. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. for Candlemas. Let us pray that we may know and share the light of Christ. Almighty and ever-living God, clothed in majesty, whose beloved Son was this day presented in the temple in substance of our flesh, grant that we may be presented to you with pure and clean hearts by your Son Jesus Christ our Lord who is alive and reigns with you, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 12, verses 1 to 4. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Lord is presented in the temple in substance of our mortal nature. Alleluia! Today the Blessed Virgin comes to be purified in accordance with the law. Alleluia! And today old Simeon proclaims Christ as the light of the nations and the glory of Israel. Alleluia! Praise to Christ, the light of the world. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke, chapter 2, verses 22 to 44. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time came for the purification rites required by the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, Every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord. 
and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he'd seen the Lord's Messiah. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother marvelled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, this child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be spoken against so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Penuel of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She'd lived with her husband seven years after her marriage and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. When Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom and the grace of God was on him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please pause the video now to read the sermon printed in the service sheet. Let us declare our faith together. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to the Father through Christ who is our light and life. Father, your Christ is acclaimed as the glory of Israel. Look in mercy on your church, sharing his light. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Father, your Christ in his temple brings judgment on the world. Look in mercy on the nations who long for his justice. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Father, your Christ, who was rich, for our sakes became poor. Look in mercy on the needy, suffering with him. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Father, your Christ is revealed as the one destined to be rejected. Look in mercy on us who now turn towards his passion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord God, you kept faith with Simeon and Anna and showed them the infant king. 
Give us grace to put our trust in your promises and the patience to wait for your fulfilment. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Father, your Christ is the one in whom faithful servants find their peace. We pray for Klaus Kaiser, Anne Temperley, Joyce Lane, Jean Bowley, Michael Gray, Sarah Bundocco, Sue and John Thorne, Vincent Nash, Stan Wachowski, June Shilton, Andrea Farnsworth. We remember before God those who have died and we pray that God's love will surround all who mourn them now and always. Gracious God, as we remember before you the thousands who've died recently, surround us and all who mourn with your strong compassion. Be gentle with us in our grief, protect us from despair and give us grace to persevere and face the future with hope. In Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. We remember the names of loved ones recorded in St Mary's Book of Remembrance. And from St Paul's Book of Remembrance, Margaret Margot Davies Jones, Dorothy Catherine Wesley, George Johnson. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high has broken upon us to give light to those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Father in Christ, there has sprung up a light for his righteous, accepting the offering of your church, and grant that Christ may shine in us to the praise and glory of your name. Amen. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good always and everywhere to give you thanks and praise through Jesus Christ, who is one with you from all eternity. For on this day he appeared in the temple in substance of our flesh to come near to us in judgment. He searches the hearts of all your people and brings to light the image of your splendor. Your servant Simeon acclaimed him as the light to lighten the nations while Anna spoke of him to all who looked for your redemption. Destined for the falling and the rising of many, he was lifted high upon the cross, and a sword of sorrow pierced his mother's heart, when by his sacrifice he made our peace with you. And now we rejoice and glorify your name, that we too have seen your salvation, and join in with the angels and archangels and the whole host of heaven, in their unending song of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit that broken bread and wine outpoured may become unto us the most precious body and blood of your dear son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, 
he gave it to them and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. supper was ended he took the cup of wine again he praised you he gave it to them and said drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me And so, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with Mary, the mother of God, blessed Peter and blessed Paul and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven through Christ and with Christ and in Christ. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father forever and ever. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. And so believing the promises of God as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break the bread of life, and that life is the light of the world. God here among us, light in the midst of us, bringing us to light and life. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. And so for those who are worshipping at home, as the sacrament is received by those in the church building by myself, Please make your spiritual communion using the following words. The body of Christ given in the temple. Amen. The blood of Christ given in the temple. Amen. So let us pray together. Lord God, the bright splendour whom the nations seek, may we who with the wise men have been drawn by your light discern the glory of your presence in your Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So I encourage you to light a candle where you are as we say together. Lord God, the springing source of everlasting light, pour into the hearts of your faithful people the brilliance of your eternal splendour, that we who by these kindling flames light up this temple to your glory may have the darkness of our souls dispelled and so be counted worthy to stand before you in the eternal city where you live and reign, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so pray, pray bow your heads to receive God's blessing.
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Love.